All right, today we're talking about the first lesson for our linear unit part one, rate of change. The homework that goes with this is page two and three in your homework packet. Now, when we're talking about rate of change, we are looking from a table first. Let's find the amount of change in this table. So the X value or time in minutes, this is going up by one. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Why did I write here? You are looking for how much it takes to get from here to here. In the y value, we are going up by two. So plus two is our rate of change. Now, to see if that's a constant rate of change, you are always doing the change in y over the change in x. So, the change in y is 2, the change in x is 1. It will be the same the whole way through. So that is a constant rate of change of 2 songs per minute. 2 songs per minute. And we've really done a lot of that all year long. It's not a giant change from what we've been doing. You can graph those ordered pairs on this table. So, our x value is the time in minutes, and the y value is the number of songs. The first one is zero minutes, zero songs. Then it is one minute for two songs, two minutes for four songs, three minutes for six songs, etc., and so on. There is our graph, and the rate of change is two songs per minute. Alright, let's take a look at this one. The balance in the account after several transactions is shown. Is the relationship between the balance and the number of transactions linear? If so, find the constant rate of change. So, if we look at the rate of change, the x values here, this will be x, this will be y, they are going up by 3, the y values are going down by 30. So, our rate of change is going to be change in y or delta y over delta x. Change in y over change in x is negative 30 over 3, which is negative 10, what is it, dollars per transaction. So they're basically taking $10 out per transaction at $10 withdrawal. Let's see what the rate of change is here. What's happening to our y value? From here to here, it's going down 5. From here to here, it's going down 4. From here to here, it's going down 4. Over here, we're going up 5, up 5, up 5. Is that a constant rate of change? No, it is not. Because our change in y over our change in x for our first order pair is negative 5, 5, which is negative 1. And for our second order pair, it's negative 4, 6. They are not the same. So this is not linear. There is not a constant rate of change. Is this linear? Well, let's take a look at it. If you draw a line for you, you can see that it is. But let's find the rate of change. So, our x values are going up by 8. So that's 8, 16, 24. So our change in x is 8. What's our change in y? We're going from 80 to 60, 60 to 40, so minus 20. So our rate of change is, I can divide these both by 4, and I'll have negative 5 by 5. So it's, we're losing 5 volunteers every minute. It is linear. All right. For a relationship to be proportional, we've been talking about this all year long. We know that a proportional relationship goes through 0 to 0 and has a constant rate of change. So is B over A constant? We've done this, okay, all year long. Let's look at the rate of change here going up by 5 across the board, and what's happening here? We're going down 
by nine. Oh, no, 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 what am I doing? We're going up by nine. Add nine, add nine, add nine. So our change is nine over five. It is constant. Did it start at zero, zero? No, it did not. So, it is not going to be proportional. It is not proportional, but it does have a constant rate of change. Let's take a look at this one. Determine, use the table to determine if there is a proportional linear relationship between the mass of an object in kilograms and the weight of the object in pounds. So, let's find the rate of change. We're going up by 20 here, and we're going up by 9. The rate of change is constant, 20 times 9. So, rate of change is constant, but is this proportional? We are always going to check by doing y over x. And if I did that, 9 over 20, 18 over 40, 27 over 60, and 36 over 80, every single one of those reduce to 9 twentieths. So yes, this is proportional. The rate of change is constant, and the constant of proportionality is the same across 